Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the pop theme from the System76 guys on Ubuntu. It's a very nice looking theme. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's an adaptive GTK theme based on the Materia GTK theme. And scrolling down, you can see already some nice looking screenshots. It's very, very eye candy. It has a material look. Looks very modern. So without further ado, let's see how to install it on your Ubuntu machine. Uh, as you can see, uh, Pop is intended to be installed through the Package Manager. Packages for Ubuntu are available in a PPA. And these are the commands you will run on the terminal to install it. So first off, let's open the terminal. And usually I like to place the terminal side by side with the browser so that we can easily follow all the comments we should write. So let's start with the first one. We can just copy paste it into the terminal. This one will add the PTA to your system. System76 PTA. And now, of course, sudo apt update. And finally, uh, we must actually install the theme. Um, the package is called pop dash theme. Um, this package is actually a meta package which pulls in all the main packages. You could instead, for instance, install just the GTK or just the icon themes individually, but using this meta package, uh, it pulls in all the packages for you, so it's, it's very convenient. So, now that the theme is finally installed, we need a way to enable it. And for that, we should install a tool called Twix. Uh, the package name is actually called No Twix Tool. And it's installed, so let's run it now. And here on the Appearance tab, you can see that uh, you can change the themes for the applications, cursor, icons, and the shell. So let's start with the applications. Let's pick the pop theme, which we've just installed. And you can see already how it looks. Let's just pick the Ambience theme, which is the default theme on Ubuntu, and you can see the difference. Now let's also change the cursor. And finally, you can, you can see that the default icons for Ubuntu, uh, aren't exactly, um, beautiful. Um, at least in my opinion. So, changing now to the pop icons, they look amazingly flat and really, really well designed. Really, really nice ones. Ah, but as you can see here, there's a small issue. 
you can't actually change the, the shell thing. For some reason, it's disabled. This is because we need to install a GNOME extension called User Themes. So, in order to install it, we should visit extensions dot gnome dot org. And here it is. This is the one we're looking after. Use the things. Click on it. And as you can see here, we need to install a browser extension so that we can install extensions through the browser. So we can click here where it says click here to install browser extension, like so, and allow. Add and finally OK. But now uh, this is not everything. We must also install what's called a connector, which is a package called Chrome. What's the name? It's uh, Chrome. Uh, no shell, exactly. This will allow the, 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 the browser to, to install the, the extensions. So now let's just refresh the browser. And now, as you can see, uh, there's this new button with an on-off function which you can now enable. And it's saying to install, just allow it to install. And the use themes extension is now installed. So let's get back to Twix. And it's still disabled because the extension isn't showing yet. Just close the Twix tool, open it again, and now it's installed. And now, as you can see, you can you can change the default shell. So let's try pop. And as you can see on the top bar here. It's already using the pop thing, which looks much nicer. There are also other variants of the thing, like the dark one which looks awesome. We can change it for the channel also, and as you can see, it's dark now as well. Going back to the default themes that come with Ubuntu, you can see the difference between the two. And in my opinion, this pop theme looks really, really outstanding. So let's get back to it, to the dark variants. And 
that's it guys. Use Linux long and prosper.